Hey YouTube, so I had a bit of a power on, power off amplifier thump uh, issue going on with my aftermarket sound system, and it's actually a pretty common problem. It has to do with the order of which your components are turning on. Uh, the head unit will turn on first, then the LCQ1, and uh, if you're using the remote trigger out on that particular component, it will also turn on the remote out to power on your amplifiers, which is what, how I have it connected. Uh, unfortunately, uh, when the LCQ1, before it turns on, there's a relay inside, that's where the thump is coming from. It's actually not coming from the head unit at all. Uh, so what I had to do was I used uh, the accessory power wire from the head unit and run that into the input of a 555 timer circuit with a relay. So when the head unit turns on, it starts the countdown of about five seconds. It gives it a chance... Uh, the LCQ1 specifically to boot up properly and completely and the amplifiers will be the last to turn on and also the first to turn off so that you don't hear that power on thump. So here comes the uh, power on sequence and listen very closely to the speakers and uh, please ignore the sound of my dash cam. It sounds like a little bit of a jingle, uh, like a bell jingle. All right, here goes. So right there you heard two clicks. The first one was the LCQ1 and the second was the uh, 555 timer circuit with the relay and you can see with the yellow light it's probably getting a little washed out. And the head unit is completely booted up. Uh, now for the power down sequence everything is instantaneous. Everything turns off uh, at the same time. So I shut off the, the, uh, the car and you shouldn't hear any power thump either. Here it goes. nice and silent and problem solved for about $8. I'll link into the description down below what the uh, component that I bought off of Amazon and it's a very easy wiring uh, schematic to do. I'll post it on fitfreak.net uh, as I usually do and as always thanks for watching and cheers.